new season of Girls. Yes. It's going to premiere on Sunday. Congratulations yes, on that. Right. Uh, people love that show. Yeah. It must be, uh, you know, Lena is such a fascinating, Lena Dunham's such a fascinating, you know, she's brilliant, she's su such a great actress, she's got a great point of view. It must be fun working with her. You two have, to oh, have yeah. a good partnership. Yeah, we really do. It's a, it's a strange, very positive relationship for a long time now. It's been you know, more than half a decade. We've mm -hmm. never, we never get in fights about anything and we're kind of in sync. Uh, you know, every once in a while we have to do press together. That's the only time where it gets weird because she considers me, she calls me her father, brother, son figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like mentor father, but other times she's mentoring me and sometimes I'm like a goofy brother. But every once in a while when I, I get a photo shoot, they'll try to get us to like touch each other or like lean into each other, right. and that's uncomfortable. That feels weird. So like uh, we were supposed they, to- They try and almost imply like it's, it, it can get a little sexual, is that what you're saying? You don't want to get us sexy with each other. It's weird, yeah. it's weird. Yeah. It's like, so we did this one photo shoot for uh, the show Iconoclasts, mm -hmm. and, and they're like, can you guys like lean on each other and on each other like on a bed? And I'm like, that seems wrong. And so we got distance, and we brought that picture, we got distance you have a picture from each you. other. See how far away I got? Yeah. yeah. It's like, so Hugh insisted, I want to be right. really far away. Yes, I'm, a, I'm an like old man. She's giving you a talk about self-exploration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then recently we had another photo shoot, and we, and we said, I think we're ready to touch a little bit. Right. Uh, that was for a TV Guide magazine. But it's uncomfortable. It doesn't look good. So you're uncomfortable in this photo. I don't, well, this is as comfortable as I get. All right, let's take a look. Let's see. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just Photoshop her body out. It's, this, <laughs> it's the sad rabbi. <laughs> and you know, I only have one outfit. I think it's another thing that you just realized. I, I have to ask you was, have you gone beardless? When was the last time you uh, went without a beard? I, uh, I accidentally uh, had an electric razor and tried to trim and just lost a section, so I had to shave it all. And my family hates me without a beard. They yeah. just, it scares them. They think, my daughter said, you look like a very old turtle. Um, <laughs> it felt anti-Semitic, actually. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, do look, I do look bad. They're like, we hate your face. Your mouth does weird things without the beard. I'm like, like, it's half your face. You look kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs>